Hey guys, Jeff Palazzaro from 18 Strong, and I want to answer a question that you've probably had before, and that is, what should I do right before my round of golf? And most people, we talk about stretching, we talk about dynamic warm-ups, but there's something that I haven't heard many people talk about that I think is very important and has really kind of changed the way that, that I look at warming up for a round of golf, and really even for a warm-up, and that's the concept of priming. And priming is not necessarily your traditional warming up. It's more using your body, kind of getting some tension built in your body in order to kind of get your body ready for whatever activity it's going to be doing. So kind of almost like flipping the switch on of your muscles, you know, getting ready to activate. So you might have seen Rory McIlroy is a great example. Every now and then you'll see him on the driving range with a, a rubber band or something like that. And these are really easy to just throw in your golf bag and have on hand. And there's a couple things that I'm going to show you that you can do with them to really kind of wake up the muscles. And there have been studies that show that by doing some of these activation patterns or priming exercises, they help to facilitate improved speeds and reduction in any kind of um, injuries and muscle strains, things like that. So just by getting your body ready to perform the activity it's going to perform, um, you're going to already kind of set yourself up for success. So a couple of exercises that you can do. Just a simple red rubber band. It's a, a traditional TheraBand that you would find in like a physical therapy clinic. You can also use something more along the lines of um, the, the tubing or even these, these bigger round bands like so, which I'll, I'll use that in a second. But one of the best ones that you can just start with, super easy, is just get a little tension on the band and do some of these pull aparts. This is the one that a lot of times you'll see Rory doing on the driving range. And what it's doing is it's really activating these muscles back here around your shoulder blades. You know, when we get in our postures, the shoulder blades are really kind of what are the, the muscles around the shoulder blades are really what kind of stabilize the shoulders and help us keep our posture and create a lot of that tension through the swing and, and relay that power from our legs through to the club. So first one is just grab the band. We call these pull aparts. And you're just pulling the band apart, big squeeze in the shoulder blades, and then come back nice and easy. So you're controlling it the whole time. So big squeeze in the shoulder blade here, and then come back in. And then kind of a uh, little add-on to that that I like to do is get yourself in that pull-apart position, get yourself into your golf stance, and you're going to rotate like you would into your backswing, keeping your posture, really feeling yourself load into that trail leg, and then keep your eye down as if there was a ball there, and you're going to feel not only the shoulders and the rotation, you're going to feel your legs in that as well. And then I would just do the same thing as, you know, you're a, a left-handed golfer. Do that same motion. So you get both directions. You kind of feel the, the left hip warm up a little bit. You get the shoulder blades there. Next, we're going to do just a couple things to warm up kind of the rotation of the upper body, both in a pulling fashion and in a pushing fashion. So this one, and I know most of you might think, I'm not going to break out my rubber bands at the, uh, at the driving range or the tee box, but you know, you're going to start seeing more and more guys using this kind of stuff. This is an easy one. You could throw it on the, the cart at the first tee box and just do a couple of these. It really does make a big difference. So this one I've just got looped around the pole, and I'm just going to grab this, and I'm just going to do a little bit of a rotational pulling motion. You don't have to do a ton of these. Again, this isn't about getting a workout in. It's just about kind of getting everything, like we said, primed up. So we'll do a little pulling and then you can even change it around, do a little bit of a pushing. Notice I'm kind of getting that rotation of my upper body. I'm working on the stability of my lower body. So you're getting your body ready for that motion that you're going to do during your swing. And then one last one that I want to show you is more to really turn on everything in your torso. This one's going to be just a squatting motion where you're, you're pulling on the band and that's going to already turn the trunk on 
And then since we want to get our lower body nice and mobile for our round of golf, then I'm going to go into a little bit of a squat and come back up. You can slide out however far you can, can do it. Just up and down there. And so this is really making me work here because it's wanting to pull me in this direction. So by holding here, I'm, I'm working on that rotational pattern. I would then switch around and do that the same way. So again, next time you go out to the course, think about not just warming up or doing your, your long stretches. Think about that whole priming sequence and find, out way, find ways that you can kind of get your body prepared and ready for that first tee box.